Style is the way that you do everything. Style is not just limited to clothes. It could be the way that you write your name. It could be the way that you walk. Style is everything about you. And for me, style is life. My breakthrough moment was assisting Sean Combs with Jodeci. We were dating at the time and he had just went from intern to a &R. He had a new position at Uptown Records and he was in charge of putting together the album musically but also for their look. So I would finish high school early, I would get out probably about noon and I would just sit at Uptown Records. And just being in that environment, it was truly magical. It was like urban Motown. I would sit there and any given day, you could see Heavy D walking in the hallways, Guy, Bobby Brown, I'll be sure, Vanessa and Sinquist, Father MC. It was so much creativity and so much great energy there. It was music blaring in the hallways. I felt like I was at home. And so just being in that environment, I had the opportunity to step in and I sort of became his assistant. And I didn't know what I was doing could be a job that I could get paid to do. I knew I just loved it. And so the first project that I worked on was Jodeci's first video, Gotta Love. R&B singers dressed up and they wore hard bottom shoes, they wore suits, and especially if they were singing ballads. Jodeci sings ballads. Puffy and I came up with this crazy idea to put them in combat boots and hoodies and baseball caps. We had to convince Andre of this new style that we wanted Jodeci to have, and it was hip hop influence, and it definitely looked more like a rapper than a singer. And Andre, he was against it. He was like, absolutely not. They're singing ballads. You know, they need to be fly. After two hours, he gave in and he gave us an opportunity to try this new style out, and that's the Gotta Love video. They have on yellow rain suits and hoodies and baseball caps and combat boots, definitely streetwear. <laughs> Before streetwear was called streetwear. <laughs> That look took off, it went crazy, and it sort of set the tone for how male R&B singers would dress and how they would look going forward. It really shook up the industry, and at the same time, music was changing. So now you also have R&B songs with hip hop beats under it. So it was just a, a magical moment. Fashion and style changed forever. My personal fashion and style as colorful, eclectic, hip hop, aspirational, get relatable. My fashion style starts back to my childhood. So some of my fashion style icons were in my family, my aunts, and the people in my environment where I lived in Mount Vernon, New York. So I look to street wear and the cool people in the neighborhood who at the time were musicians, hustlers, the streets were the runway. And so I really gravitated to that sense of style, which was rooted in hip hop fashion. I loved Roxanne Chante, Salt and Pepper, MC Light. I was inspired by mostly hip hop fashion. I also have been inspired by my cultural background. I'm Japanese, West Indian, and African American. So growing up in my home, we had a, like a lot of Japanese culture and Japanese style and Japanese food and Japanese television. I also gravitated to the Harajuku style. I never knew when I wanted to be a stylist, I just became one. I was always into image and fashion and I love clothes and hair and details and color and fabrics and nails. I was a girly girl and I just loved everything and my person was the first place I was able to be creative. So I was actually styling myself as a young child, changing my clothes four or five times a day, making laundry, getting in trouble. I would change my outfit and my hairstyle and I just loved it. And it's just always been in me. 